It's funny because um, I've been doing like the con circuit and I always travel with a life-size Dora doll. It's like amazing. She's like right here next to me. It's oh. like this huge doll. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hi, I'm Kristen Maldonado from Pop Culture Planet. It's so great to meet you all. I'm so excited to talk with you guys. I feel like I got to start with Kathleen because you originated the voice of Dory. You're passing on the baton now and also back as mommy. So what can you tell us about that and what it was like sort of passing on the role to a new generation? Yeah, I mean, it's it's overwhelming. It's exciting. I, I remember, you know, auditioning for the role and you know, following up with my manager like every week I mean, like, did I get it? Um, because I was just so excited that Dora was coming back and to be able to be a part of it um, as mommy would be so special for me. Like you said, it's like passing on the baton um, to a new generation. And, you know, to hear Diana and Asher do such an amazing job of taking on these iconic roles I think this new generation is just going to fall in love with Dora all over again. And it's it's going to be revolutionary again. I'm so excited to see um, to to hear how everyone um, receives the show. I love that. I love that. And I'd love to hear from you, Diana and Asher, if you guys have like a favorite moment, you know, voicing these characters, whether it's, you know, something that went on behind the scenes or maybe a favorite scene to bring to life for this season. My favorite moment overall, uh, recording Dora, like it was back in the early days, like two years ago, kind of when I first started recording. Um, animation had just started. And I remember I had to do like re recorded line and they played it back. And I got to hear my voice with the animation. And it, it was so like special to me because, you know, I know Dora is like super like big and everything and to be able to be part of the show and see myself as part of the show it just feels really great my favorite memory uh, about like probably when i first met my song my song director because he's really kind and really really joyful that's awesome you guys have such incredible music in this too like i don't know i was getting a little bit of like lin-manuel miranda vibes you know like very like modern <laughs> yes. you know and um did, did, how was that like kind of um adding even more music into the show the music for the show is so amazing and great and it really fits the theme you know uh the music is used in very different ways sometimes you know there's a travel song and sometimes you know it represents like a specific like culture. Like I remember, um, um, there was an episode with a quinceanera, which I'm not going to go more into that. But um, and they played like really great music that had to do with that. Um, and it's also really fun to record the music. I've never done anything like it. That's incredible. You know, and I'm curious, um, especially for for you, Kathleen and Diana, about bringing your own kind of Latin backgrounds into Dora, because I know she's sort of been seen as like and every Latina, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yes. um, so I was wondering what, what it's like for you guys to bring your own personal identities to to the show. Well, it's a little different now. So Dora, um, her mom uh, is Peruvian, which I myself, my parents are both from Peru. Um, so that's really special for me. Um, and you know, Dora's dad is Mexican and Cuban. So there's like that multicultural aspect, which is, it's nice because a lot of, you know, US Latinos have a multicultural background. So I think that's really important um, to be represented. And I know Diana has a lot of connections too, which she can speak about. Yeah, as Kathleen said, um, Dora's dad is Cuban Mexican. And I'm, I mean, my whole family is from Mexico. My mom and my dad were born there. And, you know, ever since I was little, I, I spoke Spanish and I grew up with, with the culture. So it feels really, really great to have such a big character um, for kids to be Mexican and to um, be bilingual and teach other kids Spanish. I love that. I love that so much. And I feel like, you know, Peruvian is something that you also don't always get to see represented. Like my husband's Peruvian and I, I remember the, you know, the Dora live action movie, they were in Peru as well. And it's just so cool to get to see, you know, other cultures. And like you said, we're all from different, you know, cultures coming together. My background is Puerto Rican and Dominican. And so it's fun to see, yeah. you know, that that Dora can relate to everyone, but also that she has her own identity that, you know, other people can feel connected to um, and relate to. Um, yeah. And 
I, I gotta ask because I thought it was so funny, um, Kathleen. I've I followed your TikToks and I've seen you <laughs> share a video of some of the craziest Dora merch that you've ever seen. Yes. Um, what for you is like the crazy? You're just like I can't believe they made a version of that with Dora on it. So it's funny because um, I've been doing like the con circuit and I always travel with a life size Dora doll, and I really hope they make one so Diana can also have one because <laughs> it's like amazing. She's like right here next to me. It's oh. like this huge. <laughs> that's awesome I love and, that. um you know it's just like these the the merchandise like it's just so awesome and I just can't wait to see like what they're gonna what the new things they're gonna make and I know Diana and Asha are gonna have a collection and don't throw them away keep them somewhere because when yeah. you're oh. my age you're gonna go back and be like whoa and just fall in love with it all over again so it's it's just pretty cool yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love that so much. Oh, she's like bigger than you. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I can't even lift her. She's huge. Consider subscribing if you like my videos. And if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comments section, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya.